Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. As usual, before we start our lesson, kita ni akan mulakan dengan berselawat ke atas Rasulullah SAW selama 2 minit. Mari kita ni sama-sama membaca tiga niat penting sebelum memulakan selawat ke atas Rasulullah SAW. Yang pertama, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk memenuhi perintah Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Yang kedua, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk memenuhi hak Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam dan yang ketiga, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk mendapat syafaat Rasulullah di akhirat kelak. 2 hmm, minutes from now. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad 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 محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال 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 محمد محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد دعاء sebelum belajar بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Allahumma ftah alayna hikmataka wanshur alayna min hazaini rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin Ya Allah, bukakanlah ke atas kami hikmat-hikmatmu dan limpahilah ke atas kami khazanah rahmatmu Wahai yang maha permurah lagi maha penyayang. Rabbish rahli ya sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli Ya Rabku, lapangkanlah untukku dadaku dan mudahkanlah untukku urusanku dan Lepaskanlah kekakuan dari lidahku Supaya mereka mengerti perkataanku Amin Amin, amin, amin Ya Rabbal Alamin Okay now, can you please get ready with your SPE 2018 And extra questions Okay
Okay, now let us discuss about SPE 2018 paper 1. As usual, before you start answering the questions, you need to read the instruction given. Okay, number 1A, round off this value to two decimal places. Okay, to two decimal places. Decimal places start after the point. Any whole number and sinita. Start with your decimal places. One decimal place, two decimal place, and three decimal place. So the questions one to two decimal place. So your answer is eight thousand two hundred and forty five point eight seven. All right. Then the second one to the nearest hundred. To the nearest hundred. If the questions about uh, ask about whole number, the part of whole number, ini boleh diabaikan di belakang ini. Okay. Tapi, be careful. If the questions ask you about 1, this 5, you need to look at the next number juga. To round up or round down. Okay. So, tapi, part 2 ini, the questions ask about nearest 100. Jadi, you just focus with 8,245. 100 is 2. So, look at the next number, 4. So, round down. Therefore, your answer will be 8,200. 8,200. Then, part B, set the plus value. Be careful with this. Plus value. Plus. Right? Plus value of the digit 6. So, the answer is 10. Mesti ada ni ya. Mesti ada this one. TH ni. Alright. Number 2. From the values listed above, write down the smallest value. The smallest value is 400. The largest value will be 42%. The two values which are equal will be 0.042 and 4.2%. Okay. Okay. Number 3, Yeni has 6 and plus 4 sweets. Maria has half. Half as many sweets as Yeni. Express the total number of sweets they have in its simplest form. Okay, now. Yeni have. Yeni has 6 and plus 4. And Maria, half of Yeni. Half of Yeni. So, half of 6 and plus 4. Now. For some students who like to cancellation, to cancel, to cancel the numbers, make sure if you cancel, make sure if you cancel 2 and, two and 6, you need to also make sure this for able to be cancelled by this 2. Kalau indah, you cannot proceed. Okay? Now, kalau takut salah, you can open the bracket. So, become 6 out of 2M, 6M out of 2, boleh, plus 4 out of 2. Cancel out, so it become 3M plus 2. This one for Maria, right? After that, after that, soft, yeah, okay? Now, I will put my workings here. Therefore, 6M plus 4 plus 3M plus 2. Collect or like term. Collect or like term. Become 6M plus 3M plus 4 plus 2. You can skip some steps. Tapi jangan langsung dada working. Okay? So, 9M plus 6. This one will be your final answer. So, your answer is 9M plus 6. Moving on. Number 4. Evaluate. Okay. Evaluate 63 divided by 0 0.009. It is easy for you to convert. Bukan convert. Um, express. Express this one. Jadi, macam ni. 
63 out of 0.009. Lebih senang. Now, ini maksudnya, di 63 divide by 0.009. Dibahagi dengan sifir 0.009. Okay, and this is paper one. You cannot use calculator. So, macam mana caranya? Ada caranya. Okay, so, caranya, you try to make the denominator become a whole number. So, move the point, one, two, three, jadikan whole number. If the denominator, you move by three times your numerator also, you need to move by three times. Tapi, di mana pointsnya? Your numerator 63 is a whole number. Jadi, points-nya di belakang. 1, 2, 3. Become 63, 0, 0, 0. Lebih senang kan? Kami lihat. Jadi, after this, cancel out 9 and 63. 63 become 7. So, your answer is 7,000. Okay? Now, number 5, for this number 5, evaluate 3 squared times 3 to the power of 5 divided by 3 to the power of 4. Boleh pulang if you want to change this number into ordinary number, buka semua boleh. Okay, tidak ada masalah. But, here I will discuss methods using index notation. Okay, indices rule. Ada dua rules yang perlu kamu ingat for this index, okay? Rule yang pertama, this one. With same base, it is a multiplication. Same base, a multiplication. So, your power, you add. Remember this one? And the second one, same base, and it is a division, the power will be minus. This is very important. You need to remember these rules. Okay. Now, how, how I going to solve this one? Lihat, ah. So, 3, 2 plus 5. Pakai ini. Then, gabung pakai ini. Minus with 4. Jadi, we have we have order of operation di atas sini. Arah power. Okay, ada masalah. Teruskan. So, 3, 2 plus 5 minus 4. You will get 3 cube. 3 cube. Don't leave your answer as 3 cube. Ya, cakap evaluate. The questions want you to evaluate. So, you solve jadi, jadi 27. Okay. Now, 6A. 6a given that 648 equal to 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of y. Find the value of x and y. Kalau ada soalan macam ni, if you have this kind of questions, actually this one relates to your prime factorization. Okay, prime factorization, you already learned this one during PSR. Okay. Now, we continue this one. I will put the workings here so that I have more space. Okay. Now, solve this one. 648, we need to find the prime factorization. We start with 2 and the number must be prime numbers, okay? The number outside must be prime numbers. So, 2 324. Then, remember for prime factorization, you must reach up to 1. So, 2 will give you 162. Then, 2 will give you 81. 81 boleh ndak? You divide by 2. Ndak. Why? It is odd number. Boleh. So, we start with 3 again. So, 81 divided by 3 will give you 27. Then, sampai you reach 1. Alright. 3, 9. 
3, 3 and the last one, 3, you will get 1. See? Now, here we have 3 times. 2 repeated 3 times. And here we have 3 repeated 4 times. So, 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 4. So, Alan Mo, the questions want to find x and y. And the x, 2x times 3y. Eh, eh, so lah. Jap. 3 to the power of y. Jadi, di sini, kamu nampak x is this 3. And y will be this 4. So, x equal to 3, y equal to 4. Okay? Moving on, for b. For b, highest common factor always come out in PSR. Alright? Now, I will show you how to get this highest common factor. For those yang lupa ataupun masih belum faham, please learn about this one. Very important. So, 24, 48, and 56. For highest common factor, these three numbers can be divided, must be able to divide by that numbers, okay? That number that you choose, right? Now, 4, 8, and 6. All of these numbers are even numbers. So, you can start with 2. So, 2, I will use another color pen. Okay, 2 will give you 12, 24, and 28. Solve all our even numbers, so it still can divide by 2. 6, 12, 14. Still, we can divide by 2, yes. So, 2... 3, 6, 7. Now, we have 3, we have 7, we cannot divide by 2. And we have 7, we cannot divide by 3. So, this is the only yang dapat tani divide. Alright? So, is that the answer? Is that the final answer? No, not yet. Alright? Your highest common factor, I will put here. Okay? Yeah, highest common factor will be you need to mu multiply all of this 2 times 2 times 2 and your answer is 8 8 Anita your final answer boleh? ok next one 7A Muiz and Alicia are playing a game of guess the number of a number okay alicia thinks of a number she tells mo is that the number should be less than 40 a cube multiples of 3 and a multiples of 9 that number okay so in these three hints we can start with this a cube so we can list out all cube numbers that less than 40 so one cube two cube three cube we stop up to 3 cube because 4 cube will be more than 40. So, 1 cube is 3, 1, 2 cube is 8, and 3 cube is 27. So, think about these 3 numbers. Which, are, which, which one will be a multiple of 3 and a multiple of 9? So, the answer is 27. Part B, Ali needs to form a 3-digit number and 2-digit number. 3-digit number and 2-digit number. So, each inte integers can only be used once, sekali saja. What is the maximum difference? Okay, maksudnya di sini maximum difference. Yang paling-paling-paling-paling basar, you minus with the paling-paling-paling-paling kecil. Okay, so, I got this one. 985. Minus with 23. So, the answer is 962. Okay? Now, number 8. Number 8 ani usul saja payah. 
please do not nervous if you uh, if you see this kind of questions in exam na paya sebenarnya part di sini ia menerangkan the questions explain p is the price in dollar d is the distance in kilometer to travel to the customer's place t is the number of hours okay ia explain now ani baru soalan work out how much the customer has to pay the electricians okay now 12 kilometer it is a distance and 2 hours it is a time so t 12 is d pakai te formula tu p equal to d plus 15t p is price in dollars kan how much ni kan usin duit the, how much the customer has to pay the electricians berapa berapa banyak perlu membayar itu uh, maksud ayat so d become 12 plus with 15 bracket t become 2 this is paper 1 so 12 plus with 30 and your final answer will be 42 42 tadi sini simple saja kan tak payah sebenarnya just think carefully and revise okay revise again your basic Number 9, the colors of 25 cars in shopping center are shown in the frequency table below. Complete the bar chart. Remember bar chart, remember Kit Kat. Okay, remember bar chart, remember Kit Kat. Now, color is given and your horizontal line is color. So, your vertical line should be frequent. See, label your graph, okay. Frequency. So, we have white, black, red, and silver. We label first white, black, red, silver. Now, silver, last one. Then, take your ruler and draw the bar chart okay the bar for each of this color white is 10 uh before that the number numbernya the scales okay belum buat scales so here is two four six seven eight nine ten will be enough two four six eight and ten so white is ten White is 10. Selesai. Use your ruler. Jangan kejar-kejar. So, black is 8. Your red is 2. Careful. And silver is 5. Be careful. Here is 6. So your silver will be between 6 and 4. This will be your silver. Okay. Done. Number 10. Figure 1 below shows a piece of square cut with side Y. Square. So sine Y. Sine should be why? Faiz cuts a smaller square area of 25 square centimeter. Ada square sini kan? So, ini petanda for area. This is area. From the cut as shown below. Express the area of the remaining cuts in terms of Y. In terms of Y, maksudnya, your answer must have Y. Okay? Your answer must have Y. So, the area of remaining card will be area of big square minus area of small square therefore area of big square is y square minus 20 
5. Itu sudah jawapannya ni. Okay. Itu sudah jawapannya ni. And. The most important part in this working is this one. Subtraction. And it's very important. It's either you add or subtract that is very important. Okay. And if you want to revise this topic, this topic is actually from topic area of composite figure. Area of composite figure. Okay. And don't forget to write your answer in your final, uh, in your answer space given. Y square minus 25. Everything done? Yes. Now, number 11. Figure 2 below shows the arrival time of four patients at a clinic. Para arrival times. The length of the time taken by the doctor to serve each patient is shown in the table below. So, maknanya, serve patient A, 4 minutes, B, 5 minutes, C, 8 minutes, and D, 4 minutes. Assume that the patient sees the doctor immediately after the previous patient. Dorang tarus, okay? After A keluar, B masuk. Lepas B masuk, eh, B keluar, C masuk. After C keluar, D masuk. Itu maksud ayat. Okay? Now, between patient A and patient B, how long did the clinic have no patient? Between patient A and patient B, how long the clinic have no patient? Okay. Serving patient A is 4 minutes. 1, 2, 2, Three, four. So here is four minutes. Nine, four minutes. So here, a keluar. B masuk by nine, six minutes. So how many minutes here? Two minutes. Okay. Now, B. For B, how long did patient C have to wait for his turn? Okay. B masuk by 9-6 and serve 5 minutes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, B keluar 0-9-11. But, C sudah datang. Here. C sudah datang here. Can you see this? C already arrived at 9, 7 minutes. So, how long did patient C have to wait? 1, 2, 3. So, 3 minutes. Okay. Then, at what time did the clinic finish serving patient D? Patient C paling panjang. Okay, 8 minutes. 8 minutes. So, hmm, sini C masuk kan? C in. 8 minutes. 1, 2, 3, 4. If we continue this table, if you continue this table, I will continue this table. I will panjangkan this table. Eh, sorry. Okay, panjangkan this table. So, one, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Maybe should be enough. Now, continue with C. C, 8 minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, C, 
out. Alright. So, 9, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 9, 19 minutes. When C out, D is in. Correct? And D 4 minutes. D 4 minutes. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. C, D out. D out 16 20 21 22 23 so 9 23 so here the answer is 9 23 boleh faham ah okey now usulnya saja payah actually if you think carefully you will able to answer the questions alright now 12 Number 12, you need, uh, you need to practice more about these questions. Number 12, sangat-sangat selalu keluar dalam exam and antara tempat you able to get marks easily. So, please revise more with this kind of questions. Part 12, the diagram below shows the first three sequences of the data patterns. Ini dulu dilihat. You look at this. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, okay. Alright, in the, the jump out to 6 ka, jump up to 8 ka in the. So, continuously from 3 to 4, okay. Draw pattern 4 on the space provided above. Draw pattern 4 on the space provided above. Okay. Bismillah. Now. Do you get this? And 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Jangan termis even one, one dot, okay? If you miss with one dot, salah. So, be careful. Now, A part 1 sudah, A part 2. Hence, write down the number of dots in pattern 4. The number of dots will be? 13. Okay? Okay, part B. The information from sequence of dots is tabulated as shown below. Calculate the table for patterns number 5 and 6. Now, if you see here, patterns number 2, 4 plus 1 equal to 5. Patterns number 3, 4 plus 4 plus 1 equal to 9. So, number 5. Be careful. We miss with 4 here. Jadinya, bukannya 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1 to. It is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1 will give you 17. Okay. Your 16. 4 plus, eh, 16. Sorry. For 6, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1. Equal to 21. Lebih semangat menyebut tato. And, part C. Which pattern number has 29 dots? Kalau 6, it is 21 dots. You can continue with 6. You can continue with 8. Okay? I will try that one. I will continue with 7. I said 6 just now, right? Sorry. You can continue to 7, 8, 9. Okay, kan 6 sudah dapat sini kan? Okay, now 7, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 1. Will you, you will get 25. 8. Do you agree if I do like this? 7 times 4 plus 1. 28 plus 1 become 29. Boleh saja kan? So, here we have that 29, 29 dots already. So, which pattern? Pattern number 8. Okay. Now, 13...
In figure 3, the circle with center 0, center O, center O, has a radius of 6 cm, expressing your answer in terms of pi. Ni ada lagi perkataan pi, in terms of pi, mananya do not solve that pi. Your pi, you must have in your final answer. Part A, 13A, find the area of the shaded sector in its simplest form. Area. Area of circle, pi r square. Remember this one. For one whole circle. Now, area of shaded. Area of shaded is only part of the circle in the full. So, it's only a slice, sector. Okay, a slice of circle. So, area equal to 60 out of 360 times pi r square. So, this is paper 1. You can cancel out this one. Cancel out this one. Become 1, 6 time. Okay, I will move that r to the front so that much easier for me to simplify and biarkan dia pay di belakang sebab ia mesti ada in your answer later on. So, cancel out, cancel out, your answer will be 6 pi. Itu sudah jawapannya tu. So, 6 pi. Dan B, find the perimeter of the shaded sector. Perimeter of the shaded sector. In its simplest form. Kalau ada simplest form ni, you don't simplify, your marks will be deducted. Okay? Now, perimeter of the shaded. You already have this 6. You already have this 6. So, your task is you need to find this arc. Okay? Atau kamu punya task. Can I put my step 1 here for part B? Part, part B, ah? My step 1, I put it here. So that I have more more space so step one you need to find the length of arc length of arc so length of arc ah length of arc your punya connection is circumference so your circumference of a circle is 2 pi r this will be the formula for circumference all right dapatnya sama Dapatnya sama Okay, we continue Length of arc Length of arc 60 out of 360 Times with 2 pi r Ini saja yang perlu kamu Hati-hati And this one Okay, with this one this one saja yang perlu hati-hati. Kalau salah, salah jawapan. Right? So, we solve this one. One six time two pi times with six. Cancel out. So, two pi. Alright? So, your length of arc is two pi. Then, sini sudah dapat two pi. Maknanya di sini, we already got all the lengths. Okay? We have all the lengths. I will use... What about yellow? Nah, nampak ah? We already have this length, this length, and this length. All cover sudah. When all cover, so you can proceed with the perimeter. Perimeter equal to... 6 plus 6 plus 2 pi. Collect all like terms. So, 12 plus 2 pi. That will be your final answer. 12 plus 2 pi. What if 2 pi plus 12? Silahkan. Boleh. Jangan suggest sainsnya salah.
Okay, now let's us move to paper 2. Again, before you start answering the questions, you need to read the instruction, especially this part. If the answer is not exact, give your answer to three significant figures. Give answers in degree correct to one decimal plus. Very important, okay? And this paper 2, you can use your calculator. Number 1, evaluate this value using a calculator. Although the questions ask you to use calculator, but at least write something as you're working. Seandainya, your answer, your final answer is incorrect. So, your workings can help you to get at least one mark. Okay. Now, you should get something like this. 5.104 divided by 3.9 plus... <coughs> sorry. Plus... 2.132 so you will get 3.4407 here give your answer correct to 2 decimal place 1 2 so your answer is 3.44 okay now number 2 here we can see a like terms jadi tani boleh kumpulkan the like terms Okay, now, although we are using calculator, but in here, you need to do few steps, okay, before you can use your calculator. Now, six and eight is uncommon, belum sama. So, your task is you need to make the denominator equal, sama. Alright, now, so, we can say, maybe ada student masih belum pandai buat this one. Okay, I will show you how. One way, benar pulang, 8 times 6, 6 times 8 boleh. Yes, tidak ada masalah. But, I will show you this. By using LCM, I will show you this. How we use this LCM to find common denominator. To, to find common denominator okay belajar ah so 6 and 8 6 6 and 8 so 2 2 times 3 2 times 4 2 3, 2, habiskan dulu tu. 2, 3, 1. So, 3, 1, 1. Now, so, yang di luar ni multiply, okay? 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, you will get 24. Jadi, try to find 6 times what to give you 24 and 8 times what to give you 24. So, 6 times 4 times 4, 8 times 3 times 3. I will continue here. So, 4x, bukannya x4 ah, 4x out of 24 minus 3x. Boleh sudah dijadikan satu so dorang common sudah sama sudah denominatornya one out of two. If you see here, we have equal sign, so you can use cross multiplication. Okay, but before that, you can solve this one juga kan? So solve lah. X out of twenty four equal to one out of two. The in the but in the complicated usulnya. So cross multiplication twelve x equal to twenty four. Remove this twelve both side. So x equal to two. Your final answer is two. Okay. Number three. The graph below shows the conversion between Brunei dollar and pound sterling. Okay, use the graph to find the value of pound sterling, 10, 10 pound sterling in Brunei dollar. Now, use the graph. So, 
10 pounds sterling is here. You draw the dotted line. You draw the dotted line. Drag it down. Okay. You will get this. Now, we read the Brunei dollar. So, each small square is equal to 1 dollar. Correct? So, here is 18 dollar. So, the answer is 18 dollar. B. Assure that cost Brunei dollar 50 in pound sterling. You look at Brunei dollar 50 and I need to ni bawa ke pound sterling. This one can do. This one. Show working, ah. Uh. Proof of working is very important. Alright, now read this information. Each small box in vertical line is one pound sterling. Yes. So we have twenty eight pound sterling here so the answer is 28 now 63 pound sterling in Brunei dollar if you see here we don't have 63 in the graph but you can use any information in the graph that relevant to find this 63 pound sterling okay I will take this 10 pound sterling equal to Brunei dollar, 18 dollar. Okay. So, 10 pound sterling will give you 18 Brunei dollar. Correct? So, how much will be the Brunei dollar for 63 pound sterling? Kalau sudah melihat macam ni, soalan macam mana ni, you can use cross multiplication. Tarus. So, 10x equal to 63 times with 18. Use your calculator, 10x equal to 63 times 18 is 1134. Remove 10 both side, remove 10 both side. So, x equal to 113 dollar and 40 cent. So, this will be your final answer. The answer is 113 dollar and 40 cent okay number four figure one shows a cat with a missing slice the angle subtended by the angle at the center at 50 find the volume of the remaining cat give your answer correct to the nearest cubic centimeter can you please add three here Cubic, okay? Cubic centimeter. Now, find the volume. Find the volume. Three marks. Okay, now. Volume, one way to find volume is, volume equal to area of cross section times with height. Okay? This is one formula to find volume very useful formula so you need to remember this one and area of cross section actually just this one Ni. okay so the angle here if here is 50 so the inside is 310 okay now so step one step one we can find the area of cross section first. Area of cross section equal to 310 
divide by 360 times with pi r square. You have r, yes. Your, as, your r is 12. So, pi, you need to take 3.14. Ikut apa yang kena arahkan, okay? So, 31 out of 36 times with 3.14 times with 12 times 12. Use your calculator. Use your calculator. Your answer is 389.36. So, this is your area of cross section. Now, moving on with step 2. Moving on with step 2. Find the volume. So, volume equal to area of cross-section times with height. Area of cross-section, so dapatkan this one. This is your area of cross-section. So, 389.36 times with height, this one, 15. You should get 5,800 and 40.4 then another requirement give your answer correct to cubic centimeter to the nearest cubic centimeter kalau ada cimani that means the question one the answer in whole number so your final answer is 5840 cubic centimeter So, your final answer is 5,840. 5, round down, round down, so 5,840. Moving on, 5A. 5A, a theater with 500 seats was only, was only 80% full. Okay, now, step 1, only 80% 80, 80 full, so you need to find out the number of people, okay, inside that theater. 80% full times with 500, so we have 400 people all together in the theater, okay. Then, move on. 18% of the audience were children and half of the remainder. Half of the remainder was female adult. Right? Now, your step two, your step two, find the number of children. Number of children. 18% times with 400. So, you will get 72. 72 is children. Then, this female, female, half of the remainder. Half of this 400 minus with 72, the remainder. Okay? So, the next step, step 3, We want to find the female. Female equal to 400 minus with that children bahagi dua. Katanya half kan? Pasal tu tak bahagi dua. So, female is 328 divided by Two female is 164. Done. That is your final answer. Now, part B. There are mathematics, science, English. Books on a shelf. The ratio of the number of mathematics. This one. 
ya ratio number of mathematics two be careful with this two uh, two tayo yang spread from the first information to the another information so i will put m as maths as for science okay and you have another information here well the ratio of the no well the ratio of the number of science book to english uh, ada dua information ya sini science still lagi but we still have um, same book here english books so two is s the ratio of the number of mathematics books to science books well the ratio of the number of science book to english books english books yang lain but we have science in both information Rosa. so science is two english is five then find the ratio of the number of mathematics to english okay mathematics to english now we have two situation here we have two situation here the first one the first one maths to science which is two three and the second one science to english which is two five then soalan mau find the ratio of the number of mathematics to the number of english mathematics to english now if you look here we have signs in both situation here right you have signs so try to find common value between these two information start with signs Maksudnya macam ni. 3 kali 2 will get 6 lurus. And 2 kali 3 will got 6 lurus. So, kalau here kali 2, so ni pun kali 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And if here we multiply by 3, here also we need to multiply by 3. So, 5 times 3 is 15. Jadi, therefore, the ratio of maths to English is 4 to 15. The final answer is 4 to 15. Boleh faham ah? Okay, number 6. The travel graph shows a journey of a bus from station A to station C, stopping at station B. A, write down the time that the bus leaves station A. Here, okay. And if you see here, we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Here is 9 a.m., okay. 9 a.m. So, write down the time that the bus leaves station A is 8. 30. Mm, do like this lah. And 30. Here. So the answer is 8. 30. B. How far is station C from station B? How far? Okay. So station B here 30 and station C here is 75. So... 75 minus with 30 will give you 45. The next one, for how many minutes does the bus stop at station B? How we know the bus stop when the graph become uh, straight? Become uh, horizontal like this. Okay? Straight saja. No acceleration or deceleration. Just straight saja. Okay. So, atu tani tau, the graph is at rest. Now, for how many minutes does the bus stop at station B? At rest or stop tu ah? Sama tu. Okay, now. We look here. 
and here. So here is 9, 10, and here is 9, 40. So hours, minute. 9, 40 minus with 9, 10. And the answer is 30 minutes. Okay? Now, moving on, 7. 7A, the mass of a plastic container with 50 identical cups inside is 1,750 gram. When 30 of the cups are removed, the mass of the container with the remaining cups is... 850 gram okay at first the mass of the container and the cups 50 cups is 1750 gram then it falls to 850 gram and if you understand the words actually the falls okay yang yang decreasing any the falls actually yet the mass for the mass of 30 cups that have just removed. Okay. Therefore, therefore, the mass of 30 cups will be 1750 minus with 850. So, the answer is 900 gram okay now what the questions one apa soalan mau baca lagi the question one the mass of the container only okay the mass of the container only now we already know the mass for 30 cups but we don't know the mass for 50 cups. Okay. Jadi, how to find the mass of 50 cups? So that if you know the mass of the 50 cups, then you will know the mass for the container. Now, you can use this information. Okay. So, next step, step 2. Find the value for 1. Uh, find the value for, find the mass for 50 cups now 30 cups the mass is 900 gram one cup do you agree with this so the answer is 30 gram so 50 cups 50 times with 30 gram so berapa One thousand and five hundred gram. Now we know the mass for the fifty cups. Baru tadi ni tahu the mass for the container. So therefore, the mass of the container equal to one thousand seven hundred and fifty minus with. 1,500. So, the answer is 250 gram. 250 gram. Okay? Okay, B. The number of bits to make a necklace is 3 times the number of bits needed to make a bracelet. Now, I will show you this. Necklace and bracelet. Nicholas is three times, okay? Three times. This one is box diagram. One, two, three. Now, this one. 
Rosmah used all 504 beads to make three identical bracelet and five identical necklace. How many beads did she, did she use to make one necklace? Now, here, Rosma make three identical bracelet. Jadinya, three identical bracelet and five identical necklace. So, I will use another color pen. Three identical bracelet and five identical necklace. Maknanya di sini ada tiga, ada lima lima necklace. One, two, three. And last one, five. And bracelet, we have three, okay, now, Rosma used 504 bits to make three identical bracelet and five identical necklace. The next one, how many bits did she use to make one necklace? This one, kalau tani bagi-bagi, jadi cuma digantok. So, she used 504. Now, so, cari tia for one box, okay? The value for one box. Hmm. One box equal to 504 divided by, divide by how many boxes all together? Eh? 10. So here we have 28 for each box. 28 for each of this box. Okay? 28. Then, apa soalan mau? Soalan mau... Uh, how many bits did she use to make one necklace? Jadinya, kalau one necklace, ani kan? Satu. Jadi, 28 kali dengan 3 become 84. So, this is your step 2. Jadi, jawapannya is 84. Okay? Next one. Next one, figure two below shows the plan of a house built on a rectangular plot of land. The scale of the plan, the scale, everything here in Sinti, meter. Find the actual length of the driveway. Find the actual length of the driveway. Give your answer in meters. Okay, now. Step one. Driveway is here. Okay. I always use like this. Map. Actual. So that you don't confuse. 1. 2,000. So driveway is 0 0.3. So what is the actual? Cross multiplication. So x equal to. 600 centimeter. You should know how I get 600 centimeter. Then, give your answer in meters. Give your answer in meters. So, step 2. 1 meter 
equal to 100 centimeter. What about 600 centimeter? Berapa? Okay, so x equal to 600 divided by 100 will give you 6 meter. 6 meter ni tah jawapannya. Okay, now, part B, the actual area of the plot of land in meter, in square meter. Now, the actual area of the plot of land in square meter. In plane, the area is 1.75 times with 1.25. So, step 1, find the area. Find the area. So, area is 1.75 times with 1.25 will give you 2.1875. Square centimeter. Now, step two. Because the quotient one in square meter. Step two. Refer back the map. Your map scale. Map actual okay, so one two thousand in everything here in Sinti meter. Then if it is in square centimeter. It will become one four million. So we're going to use this one. We're going to use that one. All right. Then I will continue here. Okay. We'll continue here. Then, step 3. Cari tiap the area. Okay. Step 3. Cari tiap areanya. So, map actual. Don't use 1 to 200, 1 to 2000 anymore. Jangan pakai ni. Use this one. So, 1 to Four million. Okay, so in map the area is two point one eight seven five. So actual one x equal to two point one eight seven five times four zero 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 zero. So x equal to eight. Million seven hundred and fifty thousand square centimeter. So this one. Tapi soalan nani mau in square meter. Okay. Jadi we have another step. Final step. So, where should I put that final step? Sini kali. So, final step. 8,750,000 divided by 10,000. 2, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4. So, the answer is head, head, and head, eh. Astaghfirullahaladzim. 875. I will not cancel this one. Almost finish. Okay, sorry. Sorry for that one. So, the answer is 875. Okay? Okay, number 9. 
Figure 3 shows a doll's house. The dimension of the doll's, the doll's house is given below. Okay. Because of the cost of painting, the external wall only. Okay. So, external wall only. And so, alam mo, it's not about area, but money. Okay. Money. So, so alam mo, the cost. Alright. That is how you, uh, that is how you read the, Questions in exam, okay? point out whatever the key points, okay? Now, the cost of painting per square centimeter is 30 cent. Now, this is the external wall. Of course, we have front and of course, we have back. Loros and back. And, of course, we have left, we have right, we have left. Jadinya, we have pair, okay? Pair of left and right, front and back. Okay, now, the first step that you need to do is, you need to find out the area first, the surface area first. So, the rest of it, just ignore, okay? Only focus with external wall. Now, I will start with the left and right. I will start with the left and right. I will put my working here. Okay. I will put my working here. This is my left and right external wall. Here is 30 and here is 60. And I have one pair means times 2. Alright. So area equal to 2. 60 times 30. So, 2 times it. This is paper 2. You can use your calculator. 1,800. So, 3,600 square centimeter. Okay. This is your left and right. Now, if you see your... If you see your front, your front and back, you have two trapezium, correct? You have two trapezium for front and another two trapezium for back. So, we have four trapezium all together. Yes? Then, if I divide this into two, if I divide this into two, so I have two trapezium here. Okay? So, 35 divided by two here is... 17.5 Okay, so This is the trapezium Redraw, okay, redraw is very helpful in answering exam questions 17.5 and this one is 50 And this one is 30 and we have 4 kali 4 therefore therefore the area of trapezium area of trapezium we have 4 trapezium times with the area half time a plus b is 30 plus 50 times 17.5 okay you can cancel this one leave it to so 2 bracket 30 plus 50 times 17.5 you can use your calculator taros or Or you want to solve the bracket part pun also okay. And you should get 2,800 square centimeter. Okay. That is the first part. Okay, that is the first part. And apa yang kita ni buat ni, this is your step 1. Okay. Once you know the area already, you add the area, okay? 
you add the area. Step two. Step two. You add the area. Area of external wall equal to 3600 plus suite 2800 so 6400 square centimeter some student give 6400 as dorang punya jawapan but again the question one the cost not the area okay be careful and your final step should be what? Find the total cost. Okay. Find the total cost. Now, I will put my final step here. Final step. Okay. Now, final step. Find the cost. 30, 30 cent per square centimeter and here we have 6400 square centimeter so 6400 times with 30 cent you will get 1920 and this will be your final answer okay now Number 10, this is about transformation. Part A is about reflection. Reflect triangle A along the line X equal to 3. Label the image as B. Now, X equal to 3. Ingat saja. Here is X, okay? But if you want to draw the x equal to 3 along this x equal to 3 here, right? Along. Jadinya, if it is along, sepanjang-panjang lah tu tak x equal to 3. Macam mana ni? Ah, ni ternamanya x equal to 3. x equal to 3. Then, the question 1, reflection. Reflect triangle A. Eh? Along the line x equal to 3. So you reflect 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Use your ruler to join the point. Don't leave the point like that. Join. Okay. You need to join. Right now, label label as B label. Then done. B rotate triangle A rotate triangle A ninety degrees anti clockwise about the origin. If it say origin, it should be what? It should be zero zero. Okay, zero zero. Here is the origin. Then, we need to rotate anti-clockwise. So, anti-clockwise, it should be to your left. Now, take your protector. Take your protector. We're going to rotate. Okay. We start with this one first. Like this, right? So, it will reflect 90 here. The next one, this length. Draw the dotted line. Do not erase your workings. Biarkan tia. So, let's 
somewhere here you draw the dotted line first Okay, be careful. Okay, sorry. Use your ruler, okay? Use your ruler. This one. But remember, it must be equal distance. One, two, three. One, two. I think my crop is not that accurate. Maybe time to copy this crop to stretch. It should be here. Okay, it should be ngam ngam di sini. It should be ngam ngam di sini. This here, alright. To stretch. something like that okay we have another one this one We're like here. Must be equal distance. So add one, two here, and your triangle. This one. Label C. Let me check first. At negative two, zero, negative two, negative three, one, negative one, two. Okay. That is the answer for question ten. Okay, eleven. Aaron. Earn 600 a month in 2015. 600. Circle the keywords. 2015. His monthly salary was increased by 5% in 2016. Increase. Due to some financial difficult in the company, his salary was reduced. Kurang. 2% in 2017. So, what was Aaron's monthly salary in 2017? Mula-mula, ni, macam buat dia sepi masakan je. Okay, mula-mula, in 2015, his salary is 600. Then, 2016, increase. Ia macam bercerita ni. Ia bercerita, 2016 increase 5% kali dengan 600. So, berapa increase-nya? 30. So, berapa gajinya? Therefore, 
600 plus with 30. Gajinya in 2016 is 630. Then, 2017, reduce. Okay. 2017, reduce. Maknanya kurang. Kurang 2% from what? From 2015 or 2016? Of course, we look at the latest one. 630. And ni kan? So, kali dengan 630. Okay, calculator and you should get you punya reduce 12 dollar and 60 cent. Gajinya berkurangan 12 ringgit 60 cent. So, berapa tak gajinya nya? Gajinya 630 si Aaron 630 minus with 12 dollar and 60 cent. So, gajinya 617 dollar and 40 cent. Cuma tu. Okay, so your answer is Six hundred and seventeen dollar and forty cent. Three marks. Okay, big number. Uh, uh, huge mark. Please be careful. Think carefully. In the payah, ganja perlu berfikir bisa bisa. Alright. Now twelve. Hmm. This twelve. Let's see. Three regular pentagons. Okay. Pentagons are joined at the sides as shown in figure 5. Now, calculate angle X. Pentagon, how many sides? You must remember the number of sides for each of these polygon. Okay? So, pentagon, we have 5 sides. Kalau ini salah, salah semua calculation ni. Okay? So, before we get the value for X, we need to find out the value for all the interior angle here. Okay. So, sum of, sum of interior angle equal to, jangan lupa formulanya, N minus 2 times with 180. So, 5 minus 2 times 180, 3 times 180, so 540. But, 540 is not the answer. Okay? The question 1, angle X. So, this one actually your step 1. Your step 2. So, x equal to 540, we divide by, we divide by 5. So, you will get 108. That is your final answer, 108. Now, x is 108. They are regular. So, here also is 108. Find y. Angle Y equal to 360 minus 108 minus 108. So, angle Y equal to 144. Double line your final answer and you should get 144. Okay? Okay. Next, B part 1. If more pentagons are joined to the three pentagons to form a ring surrounding a regular pentagon in the center, how many sides will the central pentagon have? Maksudnya yang di tengah tak tahu. So, this is your one pentagon. Correct? So, I want you to see this diagram. And, if you look here, this is one pentagon. And in this angle is 108. Correct? And if we continue the another pentagon here, it was like this. Correct? And it. This is the another pentagon. Now, 
Yang di sini Anita yang akan kata ni cherry di tengah-tengah ni. If it's surrounded with pentagon, so logically here is your internal, correct? Here is your internal part, terus. And here will be the external part of the central polygon ni, terus kan? So how to get That angle, okay. How to get that angle? Now, this one is that y, and your y is one hundred and forty-four. Dapat sudah, alright. And if we look here. If we if we look here, this is a straight line. So, to find this angle, one hundred and eighty minus with one hundred and eight, so you should get seventy two. Then, for your central polygon, ni, this will be your This will be the external part, ni. This will be the external part, the one that I shed. So, we want to find this external part of this central polygon. Okay, kita ni dah tahu berapa side nya. You can get, you can, ah, uh, you can understand this part. Jadinya. Repeating the same thing. It is straight line. One hundred and eighty minus with one hundred and forty-four. You should get thirty-six here. Okay. Now, when I erase that pentagon, if I erase this pentagon, I will erase this one. Si, bayang sudah jawapannya. Nah, so, cuma ni kan? Eh, sorry. Nah, si, tada. So, you can use your Formula of exterior angle because we already have this exterior. Any exterior to find the number of side. So one exterior angle equal to three hundred and sixty divided by. Eh, dibuat by thirty six. Okay, so you will get ten. So at the central of this pentagon, we have ten side. If it is a ten side, what is the name? Decagon. Okay, boleh paham ah? No. The next one, thirteen, is about frequency. Frequency, you must get all the value correct. Okay. Seven, eight, two, six, seven, thirty. And the tally, balik balik tally ni, jangan salah lagi. One two three four five six seven. One two three four five six seven eight. One two. One two three four five six. One two three four five six seven. Okay, that's all, and be careful.
Okay, part B for the number of hours spent doing homework by students in a week. Find the more. Median and the means. Mod. Median. Means. Mod. Uh, with the highest. At, ataupun most common. Yes. That's the word. Most common. That's the word. Okay. Median. At the me median means. Uh, at the middle. Means. Correct to nearest whole number. Okay, now. For your mod, you look at the F. Which one is highest? Ani kan? Lapan. So, F is highest. That means this two is most common. So, the answer is two. Okay, bukan lapan jawapannya, but two. Alright, two hours. Then, the median. Now, for median, be careful. This is frequency table. Okay. This is frequency table. So, you cannot simply take 7, 8, 2, 6, 7. Cannot. Here means, ani maksudnya, okay, I, let me explain you this one. Ani maksudnya, one, that one, is 7 time. That eight, that 2 is 8 time. That 3 is 2 time. So, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Cuma tu. Okay. So, cannot simply take 7 plus, uh, 7, Add two six seven. Tidak boleh. Okay. Be careful. This is frequency table. So dari mana terdapatnya, Nina? This one. Okay. What I mean just now, kan kalau nya listed number, kan kalau nya listed number like this. Let's say ah, I need. This is not the answer. Let's say don't. Don't do 7, add 2, 6, 7. And you arrange 2, 6, 7, 7, 8. Tidak boleh. Bukan macam mana cara menjawab. Okay. So, you choose the middle one. So, you punya median is 7. No. Okay. Kalau listed number, memang macam mana kita ni jawab. But, here we have frequency. Frequency table. Information in tables. Group, uh... Information. Okay. Jadi, we take that 30. We take that 30 by using the formula of median position. Median position. Okay. Median position. So, N plus 1 divided by 2. TH. Position ya. So, 30 plus 1 divided by 2. You should get 15.5. Ani. So, from here, the position is between 15 and 16. The position will be between 15 and 16. So, you calculate from 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. Correct? 7 plus 8 is 15. So, up to here, it is 15. Tapi, you have 15 x 16. So, that 16 drop here. Terjatuh dia arah dua ni. Okay, terjatuh tiap arah dua tu. So, your median position is, uh, your median position include in this two and three. 
Bukan 8 dan 2 kamu ambil lah. The original number ni yang diambil ni. Bukannya frekuensi diambil lah. So, because of it falls into two numbers, cari tiap ia punya average. Okay? Find out the average. Remember, don't focus with the frequency. That frequency, we only, uh, we want to uh, make sure saja di mana, di mana ia falls. Okay? Now, so, step two, you need to find the average of the two number ani. So, 2 plus 3 divided by 2, you will get 2.5. Hopefully, kamu faham apa yang I try to explain to you. If you still confused, you can text. Okay. I try to deliver as, as best as I can. Okay, now. 3... 3, B3, means, sama juga dengan means, we cannot simply, we cannot simply do 7 plus 8 plus 2 plus 6 plus 7, divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dah boleh macam ni? This is not a listed number. This is frequency table. Okay? Now, eh, what ni? Now, for means, I will create another table here for fx. Where I get this fx, let's say this number is x and this is f. So, f time x. Jelas? So, from here, one times seven, seven. 2 times 8, 16. 3 times 2, 6. 4 times 6, 24. 5 times 7, 35. Total altogether, 88. Okay, now. This one is your means. Eh, bukan, bukan means. This is your numerator in your means. Means equal to 8 divide divided by 30. So, you will get 2.933. Right? Nearest whole number. So, round up become 3 hours. So, your answer is okay please learn again please study and revise again this topic okay especially the means with frequency table all right most of you still weak Okay, now, extra questions. Number one, show that there is not a square number B and 60. You try to write something in exam. If this kind of questions come out in exam, dengan biarkan kosong. So, think logically. Let's say 7 square equal to 49. And 8 square equal to 64. So, of course, uh, by having this, we... Uh, we cannot see any square number between 50 and 60. Okay? Jadinya, just do like this and you will uh, you will be given marks for your logic answers. Okay? Now, number two. 
Here is a list of numbers. Put a ring. Put a ring ni maksudnya circle. Okay, around the number with the largest value and the answer is one third. You can try to check by yourself. Okay, three, simplify. Now, again, this one actually, this one actually uh, using your rule. A, M times A, N. So, the power must be plus. Okay. And syaratnya, mesti Sam best. Okay. So, you will get something like this. Wait. X. 3 plus 5. Biasakan this formula, okay. This method, biasakan. It's very useful for your upper level later on. Okay. So, x to the power of 8, y to the power of 7. That is your final answer. That is your final answer. x to the power of 8, y equal to, y to the power of 7. The next one, 4. Here is a formula. Use this formula to calculate y when x equal to 30. So, y equal to 8x, correct? So, y equal to 8 times 30. So, y equal to 240. 240 you put here. Okay. And the next one. X when y equal to 56. Y equal to 8x. Y equal to 56 and 8x. Remove 8 by both sides divided by 8 and x you should get 7 okay and the next one write down a fraction write down a fraction which is equivalent to 3 fifth mana saja okay so i will put the answer like this 3k k can be anything but not zero lah ha huh? okay 3k 5k for example, my answer is 610. <coughs> reciprocal. Reciprocal is the keyword. You must remember what is reciprocal. Upside down. Okay. So, your ani originally ani divide by 1 bah. Jadinya, if it is a reciprocal, it is 1 out of 7. Okay. Okay. Number 6. Here are the first five terms of a different sequence, okay? Find an expression for the n term. Kalau ada soalan macam ni, this is the key for position 2 terms rules. Ada dua kan tau? Positions to terms rule and terms to terms rule, okay? And the formula will be tn equal to a plus bracket n minus 1 d d is the different a is the first terms okay now let us find the difference plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 to use this formula to use this formula the difference must be common. The difference must be common. Kalau inda, inda boleh pakai. Okay? And this is actually linear sequence. Ingat itu ah. So, masukkan the value A equal to 12 plus N minus 1 and the difference is positive 7. So, 7. We solve, we simplify this one, become 7 N minus 7, collect all like terms, 12 and negative 7 and the final answer will be 12, sorry, the final answer will be 7n, 7n plus 5, okay, 7n plus 5. 
5 plus 7n, luruskan tak? Lurus. Tapi, it is better to put n, ano lah, di depan. 7n di depan. Okay. Now, 7a, a farmer has 45 horses and 20 cows. Write this as a ratio. Okay, baginya sudah macam ni. Anita ratio. So, I will put horses for H and cow for C. We have 45 horses. And 20 cows. Give your answer in its simplest form. Just simplify. Okay. Simplify. You will get 9 to 4. You can use your highest common factor for simplification. Okay. To simplify. The answer is 9 to 4. And part B. The farmer wants the ratio of horses to cows to equal 5 to 3. Okay. He keeps his 45 horses and buys some more cows. Now, H, C, H for horses, C for cow, 5 to 3. And he keeps that 45 horses. So, berapa tah cows? Okay, how many cows? Jadinya, buy some more cows kan? Work out the number of cows he must buy. He must buy. Okay, so how to get this 45? 5 times with 9. So, sini pun times with 9. So, the cows is 27. But, so Alan mau, the question wants, work out the number of cows he must. Maknanya ia kan membali. So, this farmer already have 20 cows, correct? This farmer already have 20 cows. So, this is your step 1. Step 2, step 1. Step 2, work out dia berapa lagi cows yang this farmer will going to buy. So, number of cow equal to 27 minus with 20. So, 7. 7 lagi kan? Di balinya. So, 7 is the answer. The next one, number 8. Number 8. OBH is a sector. Kalau sudah melihat sector, circle, inside your mind is the formula. Okay. So, formula. Now, ingati formula for a circle. One whole circle is by R square. If sector part of this whole circle. Ingat itu saja tu. So the key you must remember area of a circle is pi r square. Alright. Now calculate the area of the sector. Simple saja sebenarnya soalan ini. Give your answer in terms of pi. If the question one in terms of pi, your answer must have pi. Do not solve that pi. Okay. Now the area of sector. Area of sector because this is only a slice. Sector is a slice of a circle. Sector ni maksudnya slice. Okay. Jadinya it is just a part of circle. So we cannot use pi r square only. We need the uh, pembahagian. Okay. So, so we use this one. 30 out of 360 because of the sector. Kali dengan this formula of circle. Simplify it ya. Okay. And I will put that pi at the back. Supaya indah ganggu. Terus tak cancel ni. Satu. 36 become 12. So, 1 out of 12. Times with 9. Times with 9. Times with pi. Where I got that 9 times 9? 9 square. This one. Okay. So, you solve, you will get 27 out of 4 pi. Or 6.75 pi. If you want to give in mixed number, silahkan. Tidak ada masalah. Okay. So, the answer can be 27 out of 4 pi or 6.75 
pi. Okay? Now, number 9. Nazif Ed walks or cycles to school. The probability. Ha, probability. Okay? The probability that he cycles to school is 1 fifth. Write down the probability that Nazif walks to school. Okay? Sini walks. Sini cycles. So, Nazif. You can use your tree diagram. Not really tree diagram lah. Simple siya so alam niya sebenarnya. So cycle. He cycle for one fifth. Jadi walks. Actually, basic for probability ni is fraction. Okay. So you must know your fra uh, your fraction. Alright. So kalau cycle is one fifth, jadinya walks berapa? Four fifth kan? Ah, uh, kan ya kalau nya combine together here become one. Can. That's the basic for your mutually exclusive outcome. Okay, ingat ya. I will erase this one. Supaya kamu tidak confused. Jadi, write down the probability that Nazib walks to school. So, for fifth. Kita saja itu jawapannya. Alright. Now, B, there are 200 days in a school year. Work out the expected number of days Nazib cycles. Ingat. Cycles to school in a school year. Cycle tadi kan one fifth, so cycle one fifth kan, so one fifth times with two hundred and you should get forty days. Jadi jawapannya forty days. Atau tu saja, okay? Now number ten, the diagram shows a semi circle. Semi, kalau ada perkataan semi terus tak dalam minda half, okay half, half, okay? With a diameter, and here we have diameter, bukan bukannya radius. So be careful. Kalau nya diameter, radius nya divide by two. So your radius is four point five. Okay. Then continue. Calculate the total perimeter. Okay. Now listen. Perimeter means all sides. Okay. All sides. Bukannya sekadar this arc. Uh, the student, enough for him to find the arc. No. Bukan sekadar this arc. Okay. For your perimeter, combine all the sides and the arc. Jadinya all of this. All this. All of this. Okay. Now. The first step, you can find the... Uh, the, uh, the circumference of this semicircle. Okay, the circumference of this semicircle. Jadinya, circumference, this is your step 1. Circumference. So, half, apa formulanya? 2 pi r. Okay, 2 pi r. Cancel out, so we have 4.5 pi. Ada syarat ke? Paisnya. Dada. Okay. You can leave your answer like this first. Because you're going to use this answer for the next step. Correct? Jadinya, you can leave like this. And use this for your final step. Okay. But, if you just need to find the circumference, the question wants you to solve. Don't leave your answer like this. You need to solve. Terus. Okay. But, I put it like this because I'm going to use for my second step here. I put my second step to the other side. So, step 2. Step 2, find the perimeter. So, perimeter equal to 4.5 pi plus with 9. So, I will get... 23.137 Okay, remember Di depan sekali tadi Mesti bagi 3 significant figure So, your final answer is 23.1 Jadinya jawapannya 23.1 Okay Now The next one The next one Number 11 Draw a line to match 
each fraction to its equivalent percentage. Okay, the first one has been done for you. Okay, the first one has been done for you. Then, we solve the numbers, the percentage in your right hand side first. 14%, if you convert to your fraction, become this and you simplify become 7 out of 50. Garis tiap. Pakai garisan. Okay, use your ruler. Then, the next one, 15%. 15% When you simplify, you will get 3 out of 20 So, here eh. Okay, here And the next one, 16%. 16%, when you simplify, it will become 4 out of 25. 4 out of 25. So, this one. Okay, done. Now, number 12. This is a pie chart. If you see pie chart, remember about Doraemon. Okay, now, measure the sector for signs. Measure, use your protector and you measure. And you should get active. 7 degrees this one sign you should get 87 then work out the time in minutes jason spent in english okay now english jason spent 480 minutes can so how to find the time in minutes okay now, you will, you can put this 45 out of the whole circle, the angle for a whole circle is 360 kan ni, bulatan ni, angle at a point, okay, angle at a point 360 kan, so, divide by 360 times with, num total, number of minutes here. Okay, so this is number of minutes in English. Okay, you simplify, you will get 60 minutes. Okay, so Japanese 60 minutes. Now, 13, draw a line to match each description to one shape. Okay, the first one has been done for you. Okay, now the next box, two equal sides and one unequal side. So, mana yang lebih sesuai? Two equal side and one e unequal side. So, isosceles triangle. Draw the line. The next one, the next one, Four equal angles. Four equal angles. So, yang paling sesuai is rectangle. Memang itu one of the properties of rectangle. So, the next one, five angles. Kalau sudah melihat five angles ini, inside your mind is pentagon. And six sides hexagon. Jangan terbalik. Okay. You better uh, memorize the number of sides for each polygon. Okay. Very important. Kalau terbalik, salah terus tu. Okay. Now, abis? Yes. Done. Okay. 
number 14, put two cards side by side to show a two-digit number that is multiple of 7. Sefer tujo. So, you can write 28 and you can write 21. Alright. B, a two-digit square number. Square number, you must know by now. So, you can write 16 or you can write 81. C, a two-digit cube number. Two-digit cube number, you... Uh, only 27. <laughs> only 27. D, a two-digit prime numbers. A two-digit prime numbers. Prime numbers, ah. So, you can choose 67. You can choose 71. You can choose 61. You can choose 17. Silahkan. 15. We have 20 bulbs. Yellow 8, red 5, white 4, pink 3. Same text 1 bulb at random. Find the probability. If prob probability, put your answer in fraction. Okay. So, white. Probability of white. So, white we have 4, kan? 4 out of this 20, post, uh, 20 bulbs. Okay. So, 4 out of 20. Simplified, we'll get 1. The next one, blue. Okay, we have yellow, red, white, and pink. We don't have blue. So, impossible to give value for this blue. So, the answer is Z, row. Okay, not pink. Okay, now. What we're going to find here is not pink. P is not pink. This is complementary events. Okay. So, you can do like this. One whole minus with pink is 3 out of 20. If I change this into number bond, it was like this. P not pink. The sini. 3 out of 20 and hmm, sorry di sini bukannya p not pink di sini i will put one ah sanang so i ni berapa ya tadi na number bond nya the the relevant of number bond to solve probability here ha ni topik nya complementary events belajar lagi ya so to find that question mark, you subtract, kan? 3 out of 20, you subtract from that 1. So, kalau siapa yang masih in the past, in the sure, 1 ni apa, lihat dia punya denominator. Sebab sarah tu tak kamu punya 1. So, 20 out of 20 minus with 3 out of 20. And, you should get 17 out of 20. Jadi, jawapannya 17 out of 20. Kan disimplify, memang dah dapat. Kalau anda dapat disimplify and numerator is be, uh, numerator is smaller than denominator, we call this fraction proper fraction. Jangan lagi dijadikan mixed number. Stop. Okay? If it is a proper fraction, stop. That's it. Okay? Number 16, this is transformation questions. Draw the reflection of triangle T in the line x equal to 0. Okay. In the line x equal to 0. The reflections of triangle T. Jadinya, kan x equal to 0, ani, ani uh, x equal to 2 kan? Jadi, ia punya line of reflection is here. Yang keliru ah. So, ani is x equal to 0. So, reflect uh, your t ni. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't leave your points like this. Join all the points. Okay. Join all the points.
Okay. Di sini, we don't have uh, arahan untuk melabel. If you want to label pun boleh. T1, belum masalah. Okay. Now, uh, part B, draw the rotations of triangle T about negative 2, negative 1 through 90 clockwise. Triangle T. Triangle T about negative 2, negative 1. Anita ia punya center. This is the center of rotation. 90 clockwise your graph. Your transformation, your rotation will be to your right hand side. Okay. Now. The center is negative 2, negative 1. Negative 2, negative 1. This is the center. This is the center, negative 2, negative 1. And can you please add negative here? So, ni negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. Sorry for that one. And here is the center. Here is the center. So, the first point, we're going to rotate now. We going to rotate now. This is the first point. So, by 90 degrees. By 90 degrees. It will be... My graph, my graph, I don't think graph is correct. Okay. The stretch here punya image ni. So, I'm sorry for that one. Time mengcopy this image to stretch the, the, the grain. This graph. And for your rotations, your rotation, part B, you shared the point, the correct via. Correct image for B. This one. Negative T, 1. Negative 6, 1. And negative 6, negative 1. Atu you punya correct image. Okay. So, should be your sini. Negative 6, 1. It is here. And negative 6, negative 1 should be here. Okay, I'm sorry for this one. Tapi cara memang sama. You can refer to your notes for this one. Okay, so that will be your rotation. Okay, that will be your rotation. Again, sorry for this part. Tapi cara memang sama. Like this, kamu 90 degrees, okay, from the center, cara masih sama, okay, ganya my graph atu yang salah. Ini masih sama, like this, kan, kalau kamu lihat sini, terjadi acute tebah, should be yang 90 kan, so my graph is salah. Time mengcopy soalan ini yang, I make mistake for the graph. I don't check the graph. Sorry for that one. And cara masih sama ni ya. Cara masih sama. Tidak ada salah. Yang salah, my graph in these questions. Time mengcopy tu yang salah. Ini okay na 90. Ini okay 90. The green dotat lainnya tu yang ketara salahnya. Boleh? Okay. Now, 17... Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Kalau sudah similar, remind, uh, 
remember about the properties. So, find the value of x. Find the value of x. x, the corresponding side is BC. AB is the corresponding side is PQ. So, do like this first. AB. AB corresponding side nya is PQ. Okay. And BC, if you start with AB, the first triangle, the next fraction nya pun start with the first triangle. Jangan selang seli. Okay. And this BC corresponding to QR. The next one, AB is 8. Your PQ is 14. Your BC is 12. And QR, just remain QR. Tapi here we have X kan? Kena bagi. So, use that X. Pakai, pakai X satu. Kalau sudah melihat macam ni, cross multiplication. Cross multiplication. Okay. If it is paper 2, taruh saja cross multiplication and use your calculator. If it is paper 1, you can simplify first. Okay. So... At x equal to 14 times 12, you'll get 168. Remove at both sides because we want to find x. So, x equal to 21. Jadi, jawapan di sini is 21. Okay? Okay, 18. The diagram shows a floor plane. Calculate the area. Okay, soalan ni macam soalan. And time kamu PSR. <coughs> Sorry. Soalan ni macam soalan time kamu PSR. But these questions I take from IGC SE. Okay, see? Still relevant. Alright, so your basic is very useful. Make sure you know your basic. Alright. Now. Okay. Dan topiknya untuk soalan ni. Area of composite figure. Belajar lagi ya. Kalau masih in the short. Okay. Now I will divide this shape into two. And if here is 6, so of course here is 5. Now, 6 times 10, eh, yes, 6 times 10, so the area here is 60 square meter. 5 times 3, here the, the area is 15 square meter. Okay, so the area, campur dia. That's it. Okay. 15 plus with 60, you will get 75 square meter. Itu sudah jawapannya tu. Simple kan? Sayang kalau indah, tahu. B, eh, ne, B itu pulang. 19, the diagram shows a 50 milliliter bottle. Eh, shampoo kamu di rumah. Ah, sama tu ni ya. Calculate how many liters. Be careful. Your information here in milliliter, but the question one in liter. Okay, of liquid are needed to fill 80 of this bottle. So, your step one. Wait, one mark niya. So, misti lurus baru dapat marka. Step one, 50 times with 80 bottle. Berapa semuanya? Okay, so 4,000 milliliter. Step two. Change this milliliter into liter. So, 4,000 divided by 1,000. So, 4 liter. Kenapa? Sebabnya, 1 liter equal to 1,000 milliliter. Remember this one. Conversion unit. So, your answer is 4. Now, 20. Usulnya saja payah. Okay. Tapi, indah payah. Indah payah. Okay. Kalau kamu ingat apa yang diajar, indah payah. Okay. Now, volume. Ingat tak? This formula. Volume equal to area of 
cross section times with length. Banyak gunanya formula ni. Alright, so please ingat. Now, mana satu area of cross section ni? Ni yang depan. This one. Ha, ni tayo punya cross section ni. Okay. Now, which one is the length? The one we swipe. This five. That is your length. Now, um, we find the area of cross section first. Here is 8. So, kalau sana 8. Di sini, 5. Okay. Now, sini, 3. Dapat je sudah cari tu. 3, 5, 8, 7. So. Seven times eight is fifty six. Fifty six square centimeter. Five times three is fifteen square. Sorry, bukannya cube square centimeter. Square centimeter. Jadinya area of cross section. Eh, area of cross section. Step one. Area of cross section equal to 56 plus 15. So, it is 71. Okay. Cari tiap volume nya. Step 2, the volume volume equal to 71 times the one we swipe. 5. Jadi, your answer is 355 cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeter. And this one should be cubic centimeter. Okay? So, the answer is 355. Okay, 21. 21A part 1. A1. Now, complete the frequency table. You may use the tally column to help you. Okay. How you use tally column to help you? Sini untuk mengira. Let's say sini. Ha. Kamu lihat tiap. 1. Okay, 1. 3. 3. 6. 6. 1. 1. 2. 2 2 2 4 5 3 4 1 4 1 5 1 5 1 5 Okay, 1, 6, 2, another one, 4, 4, 4, awas, ada 4 suara 4 tu, so 5 nya macam mana ni, 1, 1, 2, 5, slash, and 1, okay, so we have 8 for 1, we have 5 for 2, 3 for 3, Four, five, five, two, and six, one. Okay? Be careful. Setiap value ni mesti lurus. Setiap tail ni mesti lurus. Okay? Write down the mod. Mana yang paling frequent. Paling common. Paling banyak. So, bukannya lapan atau jawapannya. Lapan is the paling banyak. Tapi nya, the answer is one. Okay? Now, Work out the range. Look here. Your range look here. Okay. So, range is 6 minus 1. The highest number minus the lowest number. So, 5 is your range. 
and work out the median. Okay, median, you look at the frequency. Okay, you look at the frequency, you find out the total here. Berapa? 24. Okay, 24. So, your median, I will start with median position. So, median position, formulanya, N plus 1 divided by 2, TH. Positionnya, kedudukan. So, you have 24 plus 1 divided by 2, TH. And you should get 25 out of 2, which is 12.5 TH. Positionnya, 12.5. Jadi, position 12.5 ni maksudnya between 12 and 13. Kira tiap daripada frekuensi sini ni. Okay. Kira tiap dari sini ni. 8 campur 5. Okay. 8 campur 5. 8. Sini 8 kan? 8 when we add to 5 ni, we have 13 kan? 13. So, kalau nya 13, that means arah 2 ni include that 12 and 13, correct? 12 dan 13 and 2, and 13 ni includes in this 2, correct? Jadinya, median nya is 2. Macam tu cara membuat. Okay? Okay, next page, calculate the mean. Alright, now be careful. This is mean of frequency table. Means in frequency table. So be careful. So your mean formula is actually fx out of f. Okay, so any f at all. Total semua arah f ni berapa kamu dapat? 24 kan? So f you got 24. No. How to find your fx? Ini nak x na sini. Ini x. So f time f time x atau sebenarnya. So satu kali lapan, lapan dua kali lima, sepuluh. Ini kali. Ini kali sebenarnya. Okay. Tiga kali tiga sembilan. Four times five is twenty. Five times two is ten. Six times one is six. You add them all. You add them all. You will get sixty three. Now, 63 is here. So, 2.625. Biasakan, 2, 3 significant figure, 2.63. Jadi, jawapannya 2.63. Simple sih sebenarnya ni frekuensi table ni. Means in frekuensi table. As long as kamu faham how to find your fx, how to use, uh, how to apply the formula should be okay. Alright? Now, the next one, one of this car is chosen. Kalau sudah chosen ni, tanda-tanda untuk probability. Find the probability. Nah, belum bata. Probability that the number of people in this car is 4. Now, kalau dilihat, probability of people in this car is 4, ada 5 kan? So, 5 out of 24. Kalau anda dapat disimplify, biar. Jangan ditukar jadi mix number. Remember, this is proper fraction. Okay, proper fraction. Ingati. Jangan lagi silap. Now, part B. Okay. The scale is given. You just need to... To draw the bar. Bar chart. Remember your KitKat. You must have uh, uniform space. Macam mana kan? Uniform space. Ha, ni pun mesti ada uniform space for each of this bar. Okay. Atau tak key for bar chart. Now. 3 is 5. 3 is 5. Jadinya 5 di tengah-tengah sini. Here is 5. Senang saya sebenarnya grabnya ni ya. 
tapi hati-hati okay for we have to thin for we have to thin okay five we have to and six we have one Doa selepas belajar Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Allahumma inni astaudi'uka Ma alam tani farduthu ilayya indaha jati ilayhi wala tansani ya rabbal alamin ya allah sesungguhnya aku menitipkan padamu ilmu-ilmu yang telah engkau ajarkan kepadaku dan kembalikanlah kepadaku Sewaktu aku memerlukannya kembali. Dan janganlah engkau lupakan aku kepada ilmu itu. Wahai Tuhan yang memiliki semesta alam. Amin.